Hey guys, I'm gonna be doing a review on an ATM board. This is an A25. Um, I got this on May f after May 15th or something for my birthday of last year. I've been needing to do a review on this board for like the longest time. But yeah, I skated this for like the whole summer pretty much because I just got back into skateboarding and I wasn't really, you know, content of getting more stuff, just using what I had. Um, what did I get on this? Like, I did a lot of weird shit on this deck, I'm not gonna be honest, like, I was really freaked out about, like, snapping my boards and, like, little scratches and everything, because I don't even know why. I was fucking stupid at the time. But, yeah, so... I snapped this at my local park on a tray flip on flat ground. I landed, my footing was wrong, and I snapped it. And just kind of sucked, but whatever. This, it was like fucking crap, anyways. Um, I got it with the whole st starter pack there. It was the not the expert and not the it was the beginner at West Forty Nine. It was like one fifty, I think. 140, it was actually 140. And I upgraded it to get the bearings red so it came up to like 150. But let's just talk about it. Um, when I got it, it had a good pop. It was nice and new. Um, I didn't even really razor tell the damn thing. Um, I chipped the hell out of it though. I went to go skate a five stair with it. Like two weeks in, I started chipping the board. Uh, it and like it was really dry, the wood. With this deck, it was really dry, and like the ATMs are cheap as fuck, right? So because they're like they're the starter boards, cheap wood. So what do you expect to get from it? And like this thing just like completely just went snapped when I did it, and like like I don't even think it does snap it all the way through. Nah. Like, I didn't even snap it all the way through. Like, it's still got two plies. No, a ply in the middle that hasn't snapped. But, like, if you're really looking to get a board really cheap, um, my tip is go to a skate shop, like your local one, not like West 49 or Zimmies, but like a local skate shop, and ask if they have used boards. Because in Vancouver, um, antisocial and the boardroom their pros like the routine riders give their old boards and they're like scratched up and not even chipped sometimes chipped but like it's way better than spending 40 50 bucks on one of these and these are just gonna snap where you can get the other ones for free or even like under ten dollars right so that's what i do now um so just go to your local skate shop, ask if you have any used boards, and just do one of those. Like, if you're really wanting to get something cheap, I wouldn't buy an ATM. Just because they kind of suck, and it's kind of lousy. Like, after a while, you lose the pop, and it's just, it's lousy as hell. So, but, I don't know why I got an A25, because I remember one day, and my dad was like, get something big for you so you don't snap it. But it doesn't really give a ma ma fucking matter anymore. So out of 10, I'll give this like a 5, 6. Because it chipped really easily and it didn't really hold up that well. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, to see more videos of me, subscribe, like this video, and just tell me what you had experiences with your ATM boards. That's the shape. It's like medium, just play like area skateboard deck. But like concave's alright. Yeah.